Hello. 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 What on earth made you choose to do this? My parents were local and I used to pass this all the time. I, I did used to think it's so sad that it is in this ruinous state and why doesn't anyone do anything with it? And I thought it's a sort of project that we could take on. It's just such a magical place. You know, we both fell in love with it and both very passionate about restoring it. So how much do you pay for it? 100,000. With no planning permission? With zero planning permission. <laughs> and you're laughing. <laughs> Because we made it. <laughs> Took me one year to get planning, but got it. To get permission, Jimmy and Mimi agreed not to add to the original footprint of the folly. So their new home will be exquisite, characterful, and very small. Fifteen months since I first met them. The dust has begun to settle. The site is wooded with oak trees and now eccentrically fenced with windfallen timber. Not building a wall, using just an old tree trunk. That's typical Jimmy, isn't it? It's bonkers. Although the building is much more grown up and it looks rather good. It is a, a beautiful miniature castle. This folly has sprung alive again. Its windows glint. Its walls are brighter, battered and bruised with time, but now delicately repaired with lime mortar. And it has a new grand staircase and a new birthday. Oh, how oh, very, very nice. Looks great. Hey, I like you see your um, handrail. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, no, it's a nicely done thing. The kitchen is a lot more spacious than I ever imagined it would be. There's plenty of room for a table. And you have a charming utility room. Yeah. And a charming <laughs> swing. <laughs> yeah. The stove fits perfectly. Yeah. Almost as they made the fireplace 300 years ago to fit the stove. Exactly. Uh, you can't be too precious about this building, can you? It's, it's, it is quite rough and ready. Yeah. Yeah. Like us. And we, exactly. I don't think it would be right for everything to be perfect. I think part of the kind of beauty of this is yeah. that it right. has these rough features because you are, you kind of melted into this like amazing vistas. Oh, this is nice. You see, any sense of compromise and division doesn't register because the windows are taller on this floor and the ceilings are so much higher. You've got ensuites as well? And both. Yes. It was the, the way to save space. You would have had to have a corridor yeah. or you would have to come to the landing to go to the bathroom. At the end, this was the best solution, in my opinion. From the bedrooms, the staircase winds its way through the turret to the roof. A fitting observation deck. I do like this space up here. And there's something about being up in the canopy, isn't there, as well, which is a different sort of relationship with the trees, with yeah, the site. Do you get that sense, you know, of being in sort of almost in a tree house because you're mm. so surrounded by trees? Um, just a really nice feeling, actually. A new baby, a new home, and a possible new career in restoration. The changes wrought in Mimi and Jimmy's lives have followed the changes in fortune of this place. <laughs>